Hey guys, Winifred Rider. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario RPG. Uh, in the last video, we got up to here, which is Rose Town, and we uh, learned that Gino apparently came to life and went into the maze. Or, not the maze, but the forest. That's kind of weird. Uh, one thing I forgot to do was uh, talk to this guy, and just because of what I said, um, just say, um, I'm so sorry for, you know, taking his boxes. Oh well. Since we didn't get hit by arrows, I'll tell you a secret. Enter the forest. When you hit an area with four paths, go left, left, straight, right, in that order. You'll surely find something nice. Okay, so let's take that guy's advice. So, um, we don't have anything left to do here in Rosetown, so let's go to the next area available, which is the forest maze. And yes, this is the, you know, famous Super Mario RPG music. Anyway, um, right off the bat, there's a invisible block. Yeah, right there. Which has a Kiro Kiro Cola. Alright. Now, you, it's, um, these mushrooms here, sometimes they're mushrooms and you can collect them. Sometimes they're enemies and they'll, that look like mushrooms and they'll just go after you. Now, this wiggler here, actually, if you manage to jump on them, and you can jump on them ten times in a row, the tenth, uh, well, they'll give you a coin every time, but actually, if you jump on it ten times, then, um, it'll give you a frog coin. Like, you know, nine regular coins, and the tenth one will be a frog coin. And that happens every time, too, so... Um, we have a Wiggler here, and something that looks a lot like Donkey Kong, but it's actually not. Anyway, it's assuming Vigor up, which I think means it's... Uh, attack is up, or maybe it means offense up. It's one, or the, it's one or the other. Yeah, enemies will sometimes do Vigor up, they'll sometimes do Valor up, and it's really easy to confuse them. I'm pretty sure that Vigor is attack and Valor is... Um, offense. That makes sense. Anyway, so, um... This place, it's pretty easy to get lost here, like, you know, lost in Geno's maze, but luckily I know how to not get lost, and if you don't, oh, Malo, or Mario leveled up, level 7, I think it's gonna be, well, not that, maybe that, okay, let's do HP, and Malo's leveled up too, we're pretty even, ah, uh, yeah, okay, anyway, so, uh, also, if you don't know how to get through here without getting lost, then all you have to do is do what I'm doing, and you should be good. Anyway, we have more rat fucks here, but I don't really feel like dealing with them. Oh, by the way, before you come in here, you're probably going to want to equip an antidote pin for Mario and Mallow. Because you can get um, poisoned here, and that's no fun. By both the rat fucks and by an enemy that we'll be seeing pretty recent, or pretty soon. And I think right here, there's, like, a item box. There should be. I know there is. Or maybe it's on this side. No, I know that it's on the this side of the stump. Oh, uh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Frog coin. Yeah, these bees here, um, they will poison you. Which kind of sucks. So, yeah, that definitely have your antidote pin on. Yeah, I really don't like these bee enemies, these buzzers. Yeah. We'll, we'll be seeing, like, recolors of them, too, and that's just really crappy. This game has a lot of recolors in it, though. Which kind of sucks. The enemies are kind of weird in this game anyway, though. It's kind of like half the enemies you see in this game aren't even in any other Mario game. But then again, this is kind of a weird game. It was made by Square, pretty much. So, you know, you kind of have to take that into account. But yeah, I got some able juice. Alright, continuing on. Okay, so we have seven stumps here. And uh, make sure you do this. Now, this one here... If you go down this one, there should be uh, an item box right here. Yeah, oh, okay, well, just try not to get hit by one of these guys. And I don't know why I'm not editing this out, but it's too late now, so I guess we'll keep on talking. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess I should be doing more uh, special attacks, because I have so many flower tabs and flower jars in my inventory. You know, I might as well just, you know, do some special attacks. Because I can, you know. Uh, I can just start using my flower tabs and flower jars left and right and refilling it anyway. You know. So. Yeah, I I sort of tend to be kind of bad about that in RPGs. I, I tend to, like, just go all out on offense and just... Like, I don't know what I'm waiting for, but I just feel like I have to conserve my... Uh, uh, magic points or FP. I don't know why that is, but... Anyway, in this one here, on the second... Oh, no, 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 it's actually this one. It's the one on the left in the second row has one as well. And I think that it's right here. Right? Yeah. And you missed, and Mario falls. 
And uh, I know there's nothing in that one, but it actually does count as a uh, an item box. And the last one in this little section's over here. There's a wiggler sleeping. Just go around it. And there's one right here. Anyway, jump on the wiggler, and it has like the world's biggest spaz attack. And then because of that, it lets you go through here. Now I really like this place mainly because of the music and also. This is like the, the first area in the entire game that doesn't look really ugly. I mean, like, if you think about it, and you look, like, every area in this game just looks so ugly, it's just really bad. I mean, yeah, sure, there's some areas that aren't, but holy crap, I mean, like, this is the first in the entire game that's not, like, have, has a really ugly color for a background or anything like that. Anyway, going up here. And, um, there's another, uh, surprise box right here, I think. Yup, there's a red essence. What red essences do is they, they basically make you, they make you invincible for three turns in battle. Uh, only one party member. Okay, so remember that guy that says, uh, go left, well, when you get a four, to a four, four-way intersection, which is this one, go left, left, and make, it's from Mario's perspective, not yours, so left, left, straight, and then... Right, without going into any of the enemies. Holy crap, get out of here! Just let me go already. Okay, thank you. And in here, this is our nice little surprise. Uh, okay, so this is a pretty cool secret. We have a full heal mushroom flower, full heal mushroom, full heal mushroom, and a frog coin. Cool. Well, that was nice. It sure was. Anyway, so let's go back the way we came. Um, crap, which way did- oh man. Oh, well, we have a new enemy here. I might as well show this. Um, so this is a Octolot. And it looks like they have, like, it, for eyes, it has... Oh, it, okay, maybe not. I don't know. It looks like those Koopa shells with black wings are, like, its eyelids. But I just looked at it in a different way, and it looks like it's just, like, hanging by them. Anyway, so go back the way that you came. And this is where it's really easy to get lost. But, I know how to get out of it. I think this is where we came from. It is. Uh, yeah, okay. So, um, pretend I never did that. Now what you do, crap, without getting too into a battle, um, you know what, I'm just gonna leave this one in, you know. Normally I'm gonna, you know, be editing out the battles, but not now, apparently. But, uh, that's kind of weird. Mal looks like he's stepping out of his pants or something. It's like he doesn't even have legs, he's just one big body being held up by pants. By the way, there is this challenge later in the game, um, where basically, in theory, you could do uh, like as many super jumps as you could. You can. You could just sit here doing super jumps, doing like a million of them in a row. Theoretically, you could do that, and there's actually the secret in the game where, well, if you do 30 of them, you get a prize, and if you do 100 of them, you get a prize. Um, and I will be going for the one where you get 100, um, it's hard as crap to do, believe me, it is. Um, but I'm gonna be doing it, you know, I consider it to be a part of the game, a part of 100%ing. And I feel like, well, I should show it. Yeah, mainly you just follow Gino, but there's only one time where you ever don't see Gino. And in, in the occasion that you don't see Gino, which is only once, you go right, and that's from Mario's perspective. Anyway, so if you do what I told you to do, you get here, and... 997, 998, 999, 1,000, yeah, 1,000 arrows. Recover they run, yeah? Fun this is, yes? Yeah, yeah, another 1,000 I will shoot. Mario, who is this guy? He must be the one shooting arrows at Rose Town. Okay, this guy looks pretty weird. Happy I am, yeah? Look at, look, look at their expressions when they freeze, they do. Woohoo, they're standing like statues. Yeah, more practice do I need. Okay. Oh no, he's not stopping, we gotta do something, and this is like one of the best lines in the game. What do you think you are? Br uh oh, I screwed it up! Who do you think you are, Bruce Lee? You can't just go in there with your fists flying. There's too many of them, we'll be creamed. No. Oh no, someone's coming, let's hide and see if we can learn anything. Okay. Hey look, it's another star. Look what I found, Bowyer. Bowyer, I mean. What? What? Disturb me, you must not. Practicing, I am. More arrows I must shoot. More statues must I make, yeah? Stop. 
Hey, look, it's Gino. Now, it's Gino talking, but, like, it just says question mark, question mark, question mark. That's kind of weird. Hold it right there. You don't know what you're doing. Return that star to me. Yeah, yeah? A stranger you are, and a strange looking at that. Well, you're pretty strange looking, too, you know. Teach you we must. Who's in charge? Okay, so... Yeah? And who might you be? I serve a higher authority. That star piece belongs to everyone. You can't keep it. Yeah, yeah. Angry I am. Yeah. A lesson I will teach you. Okay. Um, he's really missing Gino. I don't know what's up with that, but... Hey, chill out. Mario, it's dangerous out there. It's dangerous to go alone to take this. You're gonna help, huh? Whack that weirdo. Save the guy in blue. Me too. I will do what I can. But, from over here... Oh, come on, Mal, let's do this. Anyway. I'm not afraid, and I'm not gonna cry. Ah, uh, Malo, youch! Well, at least he's not crying. This is a really long strip here. Anyway, back to Bow Bowyer, really missing Gino, like he can't shoot him worth a crap. Stop it, that's enough. Yeah, Gino. Yeah, yeah. Strong you are, but stronger am I. Yeah, we, you keep trying to shoot him, but you miss. Hurt you, I will. So long, yeah. Part now, we must. Okay, Yoda. Oh, don't shoot, Gino. Don't do it. Oh, and Mario jumps at just the right time to block the arrow that's about to shoot Gino right in the heart. Thanks for the help. But, who are you? Um, and Malo's here, finally. Mario, you just ditched me back there, man. How could you? You're such a dick. Huh? Don't, don't I know you? You look familiar. Nope. So, you're THE Mario. We know all about you. Well, who's we? Knock knock, yeah. Insulted I am. Okay, so here we are in a battle. Um, basically, we can control Gino now. He has one special move, which is Gino Beam. It's kinda good. Anyway, so this is Bowyer. He's a chapter boss, if you couldn't tell by the music. He has 720 HP, and he doesn't really have any huge weakness, except for... Oh crap, I should have equipped the wake-up pins. Oh well, too late. He can put you to sleep. But anyway, for Gino's uh, move here, basically hold Y, and as soon as you see the third star on the screen, that's when you let go. That's the action command. Um, again, I find that Mario's super jump does a good job on this guy. I think so, anyway. That's probably the, your best weapon against him. Uh, Malo's thunder doesn't do anything worth a damn on this guy, so don't even... I mean, yeah, his thunderbolt doesn't really work, so... Malo's more or less gonna be your healer for this fight, but... Yeah. Gino is actually an excellent offensive character. Anyway, so this guy thinks that... Um, it's not fair. It kinda... It's, it's, it's not, really. So he puts down three buttons, and... Well, except for B. Anyway, um, that'll become a problem in a second, but... Multiply for power. Okay. Yeah, Gino is probably the best character in the game, mainly because of his offensive spells that he can do. And I have to have Mallow give us a honey jar because we ran out. No, not a mushroom. A honey syrup, not a honey jar. What are you doing? Okay. Because we ran out of, you know, FP. Okay, so he shoots an arrow, and whatever one it lands on, you can't use that button. Which kind of sucks. But, oh well. So now we can't do special attacks, or at least not for the time being. Now for Gino's attack, there is just a standard attack. The timing is basically as soon as his fist, which like, detaches from his body. As soon as you see his fist hit the enemy, that's when you press A. Yeah, Gino's moves are probably the hardest to figure out what, how to do. Yeah, that really sucks. Um, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, if you didn't know it, if you didn't know this already, there's four types of battle music in this game, except for the fourth you only actually ever hear once. Oh, okay, now we can't do um, regular attacks, but that's okay. I'd rather be able to do special than regular. But yeah, there are actually four types of battle music in this game. Um, the first, the you know, the first type of battle music is just your regular battle music that you hear when you're fighting enemies, just regular enemies. The second kind is the kind that you hear when you're fighting, like, a mid-boss, like, Balome or Krako. That's the second kind of music. The 
third kind of music is when you're fighting chapter bosses like this guy or Mac. Um, that's the music that you hear now. And the fourth type of music you only actually ever hear once in the game, and it's actually optional, so... So that's kind of cool, you know. Anyway, I have Mallow, your healer, like I said. What, is he dead? No. Yeah, like I said, um, Bowyer, or Bowyer, oh crap, Gino died. Um, that's okay, because when characters die in this game, it's really not a huge deal. Uh, actually, I should have Mario heal Mallow, and, ha and I'll have Mallow pick up Gino with a pick-me-up. But in this game, dying, having your characters die, isn't really a huge deal. Because even, even if they do die, they still get the experience after uh, the battle, which is good. And also, after the battle, they come back to life just with one HP. So it's a lot better than, say, like an Earthbound or whatever. Okay, so now we can't do items. It's a lot better than, like, say, an Earthbound where you can't, um, you know. Uh, you, when somebody dies in Earthbound, you're pretty much screwed, but anyway. So we defeated Bowyer. He's not too bad if you have Mario's Super Jump. And he gives us a flower box, which, um, it's like a flower tab or jar. It restores all of your FP as well as, um, it, uh, adds five onto your total, or your maximum FP count. Anyway, thanks for the help. You really got me out of a jam. Why are you staring at me? You know I'm more than just a doll, don't you? Um, are you? Have you guessed the truth? I'm a visitor from above, and this is a form I'm boring, briefly. Okay. You mean, like, from the sky or something? Higher than that, I'm afraid. Do you two know about the Star Rod? I mean, Road? Uh, completely in the dark, huh? Well, it's a big mess up right up there now, and it concerns you too. Let me explain. You've heard of wishing upon a shooting star? Yes. At the Star Road, your wish is transformed into a star. When it's granted, it turns into a shooting star and falls down to Earth. So you see, the Star Rod plays an integral role in granting wish wishes. But ever since a sword destroyed the Star Road, everything's come to a halt. Uh, no stars have been made since. Uh, the... The way things stand, yours is a world where wishes can't come true anymore. Well, that sucks. That sounds like Paper Mario. Are you saying this star is a part of your star way? That star road, my fluffy little friend. Yes, that star is, bro is a broken piece of the star road. I'm here to find them all and repair the star road. <clears throat> The broken star pieces, there are seven altogether. Yes, uh, you know, Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. For peace to return, we must get rid of Smithy, uh, find the star pieces, and repair the star road. I'm... <laughs> but it's too hard to pronounce, so... <laughs> Call me Gino after the doll. I chose him because he looked the strongest out of all the dolls. <laughs> now, got the star, Mario. Alright, second star in the game. Oh, yeah. Um... Well, that's cool. You know. I remember when I got this game for the first time, I beat it, like, really quickly, and I just always felt like this game was going by too fast. Now, though, I'm kind of feeling... Well, it's only actually part 7, I think? Yeah. Anyway, whatever. So, we get our second star, which is green. It's kind of strange how the first one's blue and then green. You'd think it'd be, like, red, then uh, orange, then yellow. That's how it is in Paper Mar Super Paper Mario, you know, like, Roy G. Biv. But, that's kind of weird. Come on, let's get the show on the road. Gino, who is searching for the pieces of the Star Road, joins Mario and Mallow. Things are definitely looking up. So yeah, now we have three members in our party, if you didn't know that already. And apparently this arrow heard all that crap. Oh, I heard everything. Who would have known the Star Road is so important? I've got to inform Smithy. Okay, the secret to the shooting stars has been unraveled. Find the star pieces and bring back peace to Mario's world. Yes, we will be doing that, but next time on Let's Play Super Mario RPG, where we will be uh, going to do stuff. Bye.